in the last video, we talked about the recipient vehicle. This is the recipient vehicle. Okay, come on over here and let me introduce you to the donor vehicle. The donor vehicle for this build is essentially a 2000 Dodge Dakota pickup with a 4.7 liter V8. Now granted, this V8 is not out of a Dodge Dakota. This V8 is out of a 2000 Grand Cherokee. Okay, but the donor computer, the PCM, is from a Dodge 2000 5.7 with a manual transmission. Now here's something that's really important when you start doing your build. Okay, between Jeep and Dodge, there are discrepancies in the lettering of their plugs. This plug right here, this farthest one to the left on the PCM, is part of the Jeep. It is not part of the Dodge. In this particular plug, there was two wires which had to be moved with a pin release tool to a different spot. Other than that, it's identical between the Jeep and the Dodge. These two plugs right here are both part of the engine wiring harness. The engine wiring harness, your best bet is to get the engine in place before you start doing any wiring. That way you can cut everything to length and you're not guessing. Okay. The wiring harness that we started with came off of a 2004 Dodge Ram pickup. Every plug on the engine assembly is identical throughout the 4.7 production. They are identical. Your throttle, con your, uh, throttle position sensor your mass airflow sensor, your um, crankshaft sensor, your camshaft sensor, all of those plugs are identical no matter what year. The only thing that's going to vary is the color of the wire. So you don't go by the color of the wire, you go by pin position on the Molex plugs. Now one thing that's going to be very important, when you remove your blown up inline six or your blown up four cylinder, whichever one you're dealing with, there's two plugs that are very important. Now you're going to need to harvest part of this to make your wiring harness. This, this plug right here, this plug right here, both relate to transmission and dashboard light functions. These are going to tie into your four wheel drive light and Part of this is going to go back to your fuel pump, but it's all intertwined with the engine wiring harness on the recipient vehicle. So when you pull your bad engine and go to do this, do not discard this stuff. Don't sell it. You're going to need it. Okay, so save those. You're going to have to dismantle your old harness and you're going to have to har harvest these two plugs as they trail back down the transmission. This plug will not exist. This is something that I harvested off of a wrecked Grand Cherokee and fused it in so that this entire engine can be completely removed, transmission and all, unplugged and the wiring harness comes out independent with no intertwining of things that have to be stripped off. You can take it off in one unit and get it out, leaving the fuel pump and all of that hooked up. Who were just thinking I was crazy for building this and using what I'm using. Now granted, there's no water in it. But... gauges are working with the Dodge Dakota computer.